Are you serious? Are you serious? Vladimir Putin? What? Vladimir Putin, did you steal his ring? Vladimir Putin, did you steal the Super Bowl ring? The Super Bowl championship ring of New England Patriot. Uh, <laughs> the owner, the owner, are you serious? Robert Kraft's Super Bowl ring? Listen, I've never been much of a Patriots fan, really, because, you know, from Indiana, we love the Colts. But ever since Robert Kraft went out and got Tim Tebow, I'm starting to, I'm starting to say, you know what? I'm going to keep an eye on the Patriots this year. I kind of like what they're doing. And now we find out Vladimir Putin stole Robert Kraft's ring, or at least Robert Kraft said he did. Now, Putin said, I did not realize it was, I thought it was a gift. I thought people put things in my hand, I take them. People put things in my hand, I take them. Because I'm Vladimir Putin. So, I don't know, but let me just tell you what's going on. Vladimir Putin's opponents often brand him a thief at street protests. <laughs> uh, but now the Kremlin is dismissing the American football team's owner and his account of how the Russian president ended up with his diamond-encrusted Super Bowl ring when they met eight years ago. Uh, according to the New York Post, the New England Patriots owner, Robert Kraft, told the audience at a recent awards ceremony that he intended only to show Putin the ring, worth more than $25,000. But Putin pocketed it. What? Vladimir! Putin's spokesman said that Kraft clearly meant the ring around 70 of which are given to the winning football teams in the annual American Football Championship to be a gift and suggested Kraft should see a psychiatrist. Really, Vladimir? Really? You're telling Robert Kraft he needs a psychiatrist? Uh, here's, what, here's, here's the deal. Let me just say this right now. I'm going to go on record. Vladimir! You Right now, you do not have a very good reputation in New England. I can tell you right now, don't go to Boston. And, first of all, the Boston Marathon. Bombing! Killed three people. Wounded uh, like 20-some. Terrible, horrific. Who did it? Russians! Two of them. Now we find out that the, the Super Bowl championship ring of president of the, uh, you know, the owner of the New England Patriots... Vladimir Putin stole the ring. You're not very popular. Russians are not going to be very popular in Boston right now. I would highly recommend you stay in Moscow. But that, in all accounts, this is the story. Now, uh, it says here that, quote, I was standing right behind the president, and I saw how he was given the ring, <clears throat> said Dmitry Peskov. He told reporters in, on Sunday in London, where Putin and Prime Minister David Cameron on the eve of the G8 summit in Northern Ireland. So Kraft met Putin back in St. Petersburg in 2005 in Russia after the Patriots beat the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl that February. In a statement at the time, he reportedly said he had decided to give Putin the ring as a gesture of goodwill. Uh, but according to the Post, Kraft told the audience at the awards ceremony in New York City that he had shown the ring to Putin, and Putin put it on. I put my hand out, and he pocketed the ring. And three KGB guys got around him and walked out with him. What? Gone. Super Bowl ring, gone. Don't trust the Russians. No, actually, the Russian people are really beautiful people, and, and uh, we're, we're making a little light of this, but... It is. I'm sure it was lost in translation somewhere. Uh, how you know Kraft lost his ring to Vladimir Putin, but it must be still eating at him. Eight years later, just on the eve of the G8 summit, Kraft comes out and says, "Oh, and by the way, don't trust him. He stole my ring. Don't trust him." When you're talking about Syria, speaking of that, folks, the G8 summit is getting ready to take place, and Russian President. Vladimir Putin questioned on Sunday why the West would want to arm the Syrian rebels, who, who, who he says eats human organs. 
saying plans to give them weapons contradicts basic human values. Now, speaking after Prime Minister David Cameron in London, ahead of the G8 summit on Monday, Putin said both the Syrian government and the Syrian rebels were to blame for the bloodshed. Quote, you will not deny that one does not really need to support the people who not only kill their enemies, but open up their bodies, eat their intestines in front of the public cameras. Are these people who you want to support? You know, Vladimir Putin's got a good point. And again, we love the Russian people. And some of the greatest, most wonderful Christian people in the world are the Russian Christians. They really are wonderful people. And my wife always reminds me, remember, remember, because my, my wife Heidi is uh, 50% Polish and 50% Russian. And I'm always reminded that when I uh, make a statement every now and then. So. <laughs> um, but really, to this point, Putin's right. Why is the United States of America, why is Britain, why is France siding with the rebels when the rebels are primarily the Muslim Brotherhood? What? It's because there seems to be, a, without question, that the Obama administration is standing with the Muslim Brotherhood every step of the way, through Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, Yemen, and now Syria. And Hillary Clinton, her chief of staff, Uma, was the daughter of the Muslim Sisterhood. And we know that Obama allowed an envoy of 16 members of the Muslim Brotherhood to stay two days in the White House. And we know that Obama has sent Mohammed Mursi of Egypt 20 new F-16 fighter jets and 200 new uh, Abram tanks. And forgive him of $1 billion debt and give him another $1.2 billion in aid during the first four years of the Obama presidency. But all of this stuff he gave to Mercy in the last 12 months. I just don't think America can afford all this. And my question is, why? And now Mohammed Mercy just came out yesterday. He is backing the American no-fly zone over Syria, breaking a prior commitment he had to Assad that he would try to help Assad stay in power. He's broken that commitment and is siding with Obama and the no-fly zone in Syria. So Putin may have a point here. Why are you people backing the uh, and the question is my question would be him. And then why are you backing Assad? Because of course Assad is no choir boy, and the Assad regime, going back to his father, have butchered a lot of people. So it's it's really getting serious what's going on here. And also listen to this. Uh, one more news on Putin. Yesterday in London, of course, Russia and Britain can overcome their differences in the conflict in Syria, despite some disagreements. Prime Minister David Cameron said on Sunday after meeting President Vladimir Putin in London. So what I take from our conversation today is that we can overcome these differences if we recognize that we share some fundamental aims to end the conflict, to stop Syria breaking apart, to let the Syrian people decide who governs them, and to take the fight to the extremists and defeat them. David Cameron, that sounds all nice, but who in the world, how in the world is that going to happen? It's too late, baby. Way too late now. There's been over 100,000 people killed. There is outright civil war. There is no way they're just going to all of a sudden say, let's just decide what we want. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The murder, the madness, the meanness, the maliciousness, the mayhem. The Muslims, the mosque, and the ministers. I mean, it's, it's horrible what's going on there. So that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is what the Bible says is going to happen. Damascus no longer is taken away from being a city. And uh, it's going to become a ruinous heap. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. There's a lot to talk about today. So don't miss today's show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be taking calls for the last full two hours. I want to hear what you got to say as the G8 summit gets ready to ramp up. It's going to be interesting to see what Putin and Obama are going to square off in the meeting.